Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. Senior day today at the Holman Center for the Sycamores men's basketball team. With the win, ISU would keep their hopes of a first-round bye in Arch Madness alive. With the loss, they'd be locked into the five seed. All six seniors for ISU were honored prior to the game, including leading scorer Cor Corvassier McCauley. Coach Schertz also started five seniors today in the starting lineup. Early first half, Sycamore's down six. It's going to be Cade McKnight starting off this highlight off the inbounds play with the bucket and one. McKnight had 12 points for ISU in this one. Little later, Cam Henry back after missing last game, dishes to Cooper Nice for the lay-in to make it a 12-9 game. Nice led ISU in scoring in the first half, but the first half belonged to Missouri State. As Kendall Moore knocks down that three. He had 22 for the Bears. They led by as many as 14 in the first 20 minutes, but the comeback started in the second half. Zach Hobbs in the corner. He knocks down that three. The Sycamore's first made three of the game makes it a six-point game. Few possessions later, it's Xavier Bledson to Robbie Avila for the lay-in. That makes it a four-point game. Missouri State still had control of this one, though. In transition, alley-oop to Donovan Clay, who slams it home. Fast forward now. Final minute, it's Cooper. Gets to his spot. Turn around. Fade away. Money. That makes it a 63 to 59 game with 48 seconds left. 20 seconds left now. Julian Larry to Voss McCauley, who nails the contested three. Sycamore's now only down by one point. The Bears would make two free throws, but ISU would have a chance to tie it. Nice is going to put up the tough three pointer here. It's no good, though. No foul is called. Missouri State spoils senior day. They win 66 to 62. Here's what Cade McKnight, Cam Henry, and Coach Schertz had to say about bouncing back for Arch Madness. If there's one thing I've learned over my years, it's once you get to the postseason, you know, everything's wiped clean and you got to let everything go. It's a new season. Uh, you win, you advance, you take it one at a time and you get the privilege of playing another one and another one. So that's got to be our focus. Um, you can't worry about, you know, the things we missed on or the opportunities we didn't capitalize on. Uh, it's got to be forward focus. Going into this year, I'm, I'm more than positive. If we could stay focused, we could stay locked in. We can win the whole thing. And the only team that can stop us is us. I just want to see everybody that we lost to. And if I want to go see Murray State, I want to see all of them. So bring it on. We're ready. We're ready to play. We're ready to win it. We know it's going to be hard, but just got to be locked in. I think playing on Thursday, you know, if I was going to be five or four, I'll say this, I'd rather be five. If it works out and we're fortunate enough to, to get a win over Evansville, that'll be Belmont's first time on that floor, you know, on, on Friday afternoon. And we'll have a game under our belt and hopefully be feeling a little better about ourselves than we would be coming in off, you know, two losses. But we've got to, you know, ultimately for us, I think we've shown all year, one, we're, we, we're, we have a deep enough team to handle four games in four days.